If you're new to SharePoint, then you've probably heard people talk a lot about something called web parts. Now, web parts are blocks that you can add to your pages that provide functionality or show content in a certain way. In this video, I'm going to take a look at web parts and I'm going to show you the ones that Microsoft provide, the things that they can do and the things that they can't do. I'm going to look at custom web parts that you might need to fulfill particular business needs. And then also we'll look at Lightspeed, which is our set of pre-built web parts that allow you to launch a best-in-class intranet very quickly and easily. So here I am, I'm on this example SharePoint page, which is for the London office in this case. And on this page, I've got two web parts at the moment. I've got one on the left called News, which is sharing a, new, a feed of the news from, from this particular office. And I am also on the right seeing something called Upcoming Events, and that's a separate web part. So web parts that are provided by Microsoft will often allow you to display different content types from your intranet and give you options on how they get displayed on the page. But also there are web parts that you just input content directly into them as well. Um, and we'll look at those too. If I go into edit mode, I'll see now the sort of the, the makeup of this page. So I can see these distinct uh, blocks or web parts um, and each of these has uh, an edit control so I can click on edit web part and then I can change for example the way that information gets displayed or the source of the information where it's coming from is it coming from just this site or is it coming from other sites too for example so these are just some examples of configuration settings that apply to this particular web part but each web part has its own um, and if I click on the one for events, I can also see that that one's got slightly different options there. Now, all, what I also want to do is add some an additional web part. So I'm going to click on the plus icon here, and this brings up the web part gallery, which is basically you know a menu of different web part types. There will be the the Microsoft ones here um, that, that are provided by default, but also there may be some additional third party ones that you or somebody else may have installed in your environment. I'm going to add a simple one called Quick Links. This then gives me a, some placeholders for a list of links, uh, and I'm going to add an example one. First, I just need to give the web part a title, so I'll call this Key Links, and I'm going to add a link. Now, this could be a link to existing content on your intranet, or it could be you know, a website or whatever it may be. You can def define that link here and click Insert. And I've now got a link and I've got some additional options here in terms of how that gets displayed or what the behavior is when somebody clicks that link. So there are always these options in this right panel for different web parts, but each web part has its own properties and configuration settings that you could you know, basically change. So Microsoft do provide a lot of web parts out of the box that you will find useful. Um, but then as you get more uh, used to using web parts and you're building your pages out and you're and you have specific requirements that you want to fulfill around the way you display information on the page, you might start to hit against some um, limitations, let's say. So let's take an example with this news web part. So this is displaying news. And uh, if I edit this web part, uh, it, let's say I want to make this more of a carousel-like news, news feed, um, I can go here and I can change the properties to say this, this is a carousel. And then I've got some options for the display of news in that carousel. Um, I can do, for example, how many posts, how many news posts I want to appear in the carousel. So I can up that to six, and we'll see that actually when we publish this, these, these dots will increase to six stories, um, if there are six stories published. Um, but this is where we start to hit some limitations here, because you know, I, for example, on these um, stories, I'm not seeing when they were published. There's no publish date visible, and there's no option to enable a publish date. So whereas on the previous layout, if I just go back to that, I think it was a list. Um, yeah, it, well, this is another example where you do see a published date, um, but on you know the, the carousel, we don't see a published date. So it, it's a problem because this is, you know, a published date is pretty much always something you'd want on a newsfeed. I mean, there are some exceptions, but it pretty universally would, you'd want it there. And another issue with the carousel is that you don't get any kind of idea of what the other items in the carousel are. You have to either wait for it to rotate or click through them. So it's not great for, you know, visibility of information. So you'll start to hit against some of these limitations in each of the web parts as to the display and the utility of the web parts. So when you start to hit limitations with the provided web parts, then often organizations will start to look at customization, building custom web parts. So it's possible to create 
completely bespoke custom web parts that you can drop in to a SharePoint page alongside the Microsoft ones. Uh, here's an example on this site here that's called Messages for You. Now with this customer, they needed a messaging solution that allow, would allow them to contact employees via the intranet. They actually had a quite a unique situation where many of their employees were embedded in their customer companies and they didn't have access to an email account or anything like that. The only way they could communicate with them was via the intranet. So we, we built a custom web part that allows messaging to happen via the intranet. Um, so this is a you know particular need that an organization had for a bespoke or custom web part and this is completely possible of course the problem with this is that it requires uh, developers to build these web parts you know this is not something that somebody can do without the, the knowledge of the of, of code and so on so um, yeah, a very technical solution it takes time to build and then of course once you've launched it you need to support that custom web part over the years we've designed and built literally hundreds of intranets and we found that, of course, um, in certain circumstances, uh, companies did find that the limitations of the Microsoft out-of-the-box web parts were a problem for them in terms of fulfilling their objectives with the intranet. And in many cases, we built custom web parts such as the one I just showed. But um, we actually started to realize that there are many commonalities. There are common issues with or gaps in the features and, and capabilities offered by the Microsoft web parts. Um, that we decided to fix en masse, basically by creating a set of pre-built web parts that um, companies could install into their SharePoint environment and use alongside the Microsoft ones, and that these web parts would give them an, that elevated experience in terms of the you know the user experience and the engagement level with your SharePoint pages. So it's called Lightspeed three six five, and to give you an example of some of the web parts that we created, we have here on the home page. Um, this news carousel, which is a lot like the news um, web part from Microsoft, in the same way it allows you to do audience targeting and, and, and other such aspects and, and show content from across various sites. Uh, but it also has some important uh, display options that can be configured to show things like, you know, who published the article on the carousel, what the date it was published and the number of views it's got and so on. So the sorts of things you'd like to be able to see. Um, as well as a preview of the other articles that are coming in the carousel, so you don't have to click through them all to see what the headlines are. We also have things like the uh, welcome bar that uh, adds personalization elements to the experience. It has, you know, it welcomes you, it gives you your local weather, and it in even includes, if you want it to, a company share price. You can also invoke an intranet tour from here, um, which will take you through um, a series of slides explaining the kinds of capabilities that are available in the intranet. And then we also have uh, App Launcher, which unlike the Microsoft Out of the Box Quick Links uh, web part, actually gives you personalizable sets of links. So you can, you can roll out to your employees a set of company approved li links to systems and tools that you use. Uh, you can target certain apps and tools at certain groups of people so that they only see the ones that are relevant to them. But then they can, as it, at an individual level, they can further personalize the experience. So they can click edit here, they can remove ones or links that aren't relevant to them, and they can add additional ones from the company directory, such as, oh, I could add sales, Salesforce here because I know that you know I'm using that at the, uh, and it's a company approved app, so I could add that to my list. Uh, or indeed, if there was something that I use regularly, like a website as a resource for the work that I do, um, but it wasn't listed in the company apps, I could just add that as a personal quick link. Um, so I can add my own custom links in here as well, alongside the company approved apps. So that's just an example of a few of the web parts that Lightspeed adds in. There are many more. Another one is, is people search. So I can do a quick name search here for people in the organization and it pops up results straight away. Uh, and if I don't see the person I'm looking for, I can click through into the full people directory experience. So this is all um, you know, Lightspeed added capability, basically using these pre-built web parts. I hope this video has helped you learn more about web parts and understand how they might help you. If you need help with web parts or any other aspect of SharePoint, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can reach us at www.contentformula.com.